All right, what you're looking at here is what I have of a 1981 is it Johnson? No, Evnerd. Actually, I should have been able to tell that by the blue. Anyway, it's an 81 Evnerd, 25 horsepower. I don't have a lower unit, and the power head isn't quite rotating that well. So all this video is going to be is basically me opening it up and seeing what happened to it. Now, I do like robbing parts off of outboards to use on other outboards. Basically cannibalize one to make another one. Uh, the good thing about this is it has a tiller handle. A lot of my outboards seem to be missing them. In this part of the country, it's pretty common to have a uh, remote steering. Not so much a tiller operated little fishing boat. So tiller's pretty hard to come by. But I like them. And uh, yeah, so this will be a nice little handy feature. The rest of the powerhead probably ain't that good, but we'll see what kind of parts we get from it. So to begin, I'm going to remove the tiller, probably pull the carburetor, and then probably just pull the power head off afterwards. Alright, as you can see, the power head is off. The other notable thing there is that last screw did not want to come off. But, no biggie. Next thing also, you may notice, I forgot to disconnect the stop switch. No big deal, I always forget something. But, managed through it. So I'm going to start pulling off some of the ignition system and uh, we'll get the flavor off eventually.
All right, ignition system is off. Light is off, obviously. And we still have a rotating problem. Also, bottom cylinder spark plug, a little rusty. Well, continuing along here. <laughs> Right, apparently the top cylinder was the one with the rusty spark plug. Wow, those are some grooves. Cylinder head though, it's probably fine. So judging by the paint, it's overall condition, it's pretty, probably a pretty low hour motor. And if you look inside the water passages here, you, you see no evidence of salt. So it's a low hour fresh water motor at that. It's kind of a kind of a shame that we have this you know destroyed top cylinder, but you now these things happen. I might as well get the power head apart, the rest of the way, see what the crank's like. I don't know if I ever need it, but I'm already here. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see rust inside of the intake here. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it just I wasn't expecting it. Perhaps it took a gulp of water, and that's what did it in. I don't know. Pretty weird. Yeah, it cranks all rusted in there too. Ugh. Well, this thing keeps getting better and better. It is rusty. And it's odd, too, because the, uh, well, not odd, but the top cylinder is the one that's rusty, but if you look inside of here, you can't really see with the blue light, but the bottom connecting rod is what's rusty on this side, so both top and bottom are bad. Alright, the bearings, not as bad as I would think. Actually, not that bad at all, really. So I've discussed this a few times when usually you have a stuck power head. Unsticking it usually doesn't really fix it. And, you know, situations like this, kind of believe it to be uh, still the case. 
this is this is starting to eat away. Nice crank, except for when it's all rusty. Cylinder walls, top and bottom, kind of rusty. So done for. Piston. Not the worst I've ever seen. Not the best. Man, this one's pretty crappy. Well, I guess that's it for now. Put some cleaning up of the old tools to do. Clean the desk. It's kind of a shame that that motor died. It was pretty nice. Although, if it was pretty nice, it'd probably still be in the back of somebody's boat. However, that motor's, that motor's parts will be put to good use. A lot of them will see use on another motor. Yeah, it's a, it's a fitting end to it, I'd say. Anywho, join me next time. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll be doing something fun. So, I'll see y'all then.